Becky Stern and I'm Tiffany Threadgold and today on the craft video we're going to show you how to make a beanbag style chair out of old t-shirts. <laughs> Tiffany here is a master recycler. She's the chief design junkie at Replayground here in Brooklyn, New York. And at my design studio we make products out of garbage. Old t-shirts are a great fabric to use for new craft projects. You can turn them into a whole variety of new things, including this checkerboard project that I did in volume four of Craft Magazine. Today we're gonna to be using my old t-shirts to make a comfy chair for my apartment. To make up our beach ball shape, we're gonna make six wedges from the t-shirts. But first we have to make a pattern, and we'll make a pattern that represents half of one wedge so that we can piece it together from multiple t-shirts. Take a piece of paper that measures 30 inches by 20 inches and draw a line down the center. Start with a 60 degree angle at the center top and draw a soft curved line down the length of the wedge. Thanks to Instructables user Seamster for the inspiration for this pattern. Then we'll cut along this line, fold it in half so both sides match and cut it out. Since our wedge pattern doesn't quite fit on one t-shirt, we've cut it into two pieces and we're going to get this part from the front of the t-shirt and this part from the back of the t-shirt. Um, so now we're going to trace around the outside of this pattern. And then we're going to cut just through one layer of t-shirt and use this for the center panel. Now we're going to cut a slit just up the back of the t-shirt to make the front lay more flat for cutting out the other piece. scraps you shouldn't throw them away you can recycle them into other projects you can take the little sleeves of your t-shirts and make them into cute little drawstring pouches and come up with new projects all on your own this could be the inspiration for your next project pin the top and bottom panel pieces right sides together and use a straight stitch to sew along the edge once you've made two wedges that represent half of one of the six panels that'll make up the beanbag seam them together along the edge, putting right sides together. So here's our first panel. You need to repeat this five more times to get enough panels to make your sphere. Now that we have two arc panels sewn, we're going to seam along one of the arc sides. And we're going to start by pinning at the seamed points. Sew together two halves made from three panels each, then pin right sides together all the way around the shell. Sew along the pin line, leaving a section open for stuffing. Then turn the shell right side out. Now it's time to cut our upholstery foam down from big blocks into small cubes to fill our chair. You can get upholstery foam from old furniture or an old mattress that you're going to discard. You can also have it from a leftover upholstery project that you were making. To cut the foam into smaller sections, I'm going to use the full length of the blade on this utility knife, which is very sharp and should not come in contact with your fingers. You can also use a big pair of scissors, which is kind of more difficult, or a bread knife. But I'll show you how easy it is with the utility knife, as long as you keep it clear of the path where your hand is. First, I cut one big long strip, and then I cut that strip in half, depending on the width of your foam. It might be different. So then I have these two long square strips, and then we're gonna cut those into cubes with scissors, which is a great job for your kids to do if they're helping you with this project. Continue cutting cubes until you have enough to fill your bean bag. You can also use pillow stuffing or scrap fabric or anything else that's soft that you wanna stuff your bean bag chair with. Now it's time to fill the chair with foam. 
you can cut your foam blocks directly into the bag or use a plastic bag to transfer them. Pin the opening shut and seal it with a whip stitch. Then lift and fluff your chair and enjoy. Thanks Tiffany, that's great. Now I have a new chair for my house and I didn't have to pay a cent. Yeah, isn't it great what you can make out of recycled materials? Totally, like these other two projects you did for Crafting.com's Upcycling Month, this recycled pencil case and collapsible food dish made from old food packages. And you can check out ReplayGraw.com for all of our Remake It Recycling kits. Like this newest one, it's a metal frame that, that you turn into a trash can by simply weaving plastic bags around it or fabric scraps. And if you're in New York City in the month of April, be sure to swing by the Green Up Shop in New York City's Port Authority, the largest Green Up pop-up shop of its kind in the nation.